So this video will demonstrate how to replace the touchpad on a Lenovo ThinkPad T450 laptop. We have the new touchpad right here. And you can see this touchpad is a little bit worn out. It still functions perfectly fine, but in the realm of refurbishment, sometimes we replace these types of things. So the model looks brand new. So uh, you can also see that there's no keyboard installed. I'll also be putting in a new keyboard. So first let's flip this thing over and take the battery out. So taking a Phillips head screwdriver, we just need to remove all the screws from the back panel. If the back panel is not loose enough to take off, score around the edge with a plastic guitar pick or uh, something similar like this iFixit uh, tool, plastic piece. Now that the panel's off, we can take this internal battery out and, and you just need to disconnect it right here. And then there's one, two, three screws to remove. So now the battery is removed, we can lift up this little plastic piece with the fingernail or something like this. And we can pull out the plastic ribbon and we'll just leave that loose for now. Before we take out the screws that are holding the touchpad in place, we have to take out the screws connecting the motherboard to the chassis in order to lift up just enough to access the screws underneath this part of the motherboard. And you'll see that the screws that you can take out are the ones with little arrows pointing to them, indicating that they are fastening the motherboard down to the uh, rest of the chassis. In addition to the screws, we can also take out this power connector here and this ribbon cable right here. Now, as you can see, you can lift up the motherboard and you have enough room to access the two screws right here. So let's take out the four screws holding the touchpad in place. Okay, with the screws taken out, you can simply lift this up. There is one ripping cable on the side here that we'll have to take out. All right, to remove the ripping cable, you just have to lift up a little plastic piece to the connector and there we go. Now we do the reverse with the new touchpad. All right, we're ready to install the new touchpad and I'll just time lapse this part. Okay, the new keyboard and new touchpad are looking pretty good. Now, all that's left is for me to install Windows 10 and we'll see how everything performs and make sure that everything's working correctly. All right, Windows is installed and with the new touchpad and keyboard, this T450 is looking brand new. So hopefully this video helped you out and Hit me up in the comments if you feel like I missed anything or let me know if you did the exact same thing and how it worked out for you. So thanks a lot for watching and have a good day.